Hi, this is Lisa from HousefindersNorthernItaly.com. This video is a quick tour of the Cascina, or country house, my friend and I bought in Piedmont in northern Italy. We bought it in July of 2018 for 170,000 euro, or approximately 190,000 US dollars at the time. Although we live in the country, it's really only about a five minute drive to our local town with a cafe, a post office, and a general store. And within a 10 minute drive in any direction, I can be in six other hilltop towns with fabulous restaurants, butchers, cheese shops. And a 20 minute drive, I'm in a very cute small city with all the amenities that I need. As we walk through the house, you'll see what a typical Piemontese cascina or country house is like. I'll point out the work I did and showed the before and after results. As you can see, we haven't yet tackled the outside of the house. Inside, I live on the bottom floor and my friend lives on the top floor. I redid the bottom floor, my spaces, for about 50,000 US dollars. See our video, Renovating Our Piedmont House, for a detailed look at what I did and how much it cost. Some of the common areas, like this entranceway, we haven't yet renovated. All of the renovations I did were in keeping with a 1900 Piemontese Cascina. I kept as many original elements as I could. I renovated using reclaimed materials. In the kitchen, I had all the walls and ceiling replastered. I had reclaimed tiles, terracotta tiles, put on the floor. I bought reclaimed Cementini tiles and put them up as a backsplash. And I bought freestanding wood cabinet tree at the local antique markets. In the dining room, I had the walls and ceiling replastered. I bought reclaimed wood floors and I laid them myself. And I bought a pellet stove and had it installed. And it serves as the main and very sufficient heating for the kitchen, dining room, and living room. I have nine windows in my portion of the house, and two of them had to be replaced, including this one. In the living room, I had all the walls and the ceiling replastered. I applied the yellow, naturally tinted plaster myself. I laid reclaimed wood floors, and I had an enclosed wood burning stove installed for extra heating. I kept all of the original doors of the house and again as many original elements as I could like this built-in bookcase. The walls and ceilings of my back rooms were cemented over and I had them renovated back to the original stone and brick elements. When I moved in, there was only extension cord lighting in these back rooms, and since I didn't want to channel or break through the original floors or stone walls, I had external electrical installed. I haven't done anything yet with the beautiful light-colored terracotta floor tiles in these rooms, but with grout, some linseed oil, and beeswax, they'll be absolutely stunning.
In the cozy room, I had an enclosed wood-burning fireplace installed in the existing chimney. Most of my original windows were in excellent condition, and for this one, I lined it with plastic until I can double paint it myself this summer. Notice the iron bar spanning all of my rooms. This is an important structural necessity that you need to look for in these old 1900 stone houses.